So in this video we'll be looking at how to change the Windows 10 boot logo to a custom image. So in one of my previous videos I showed you how to change the Windows 8 boot logo to a custom image. Now the method used in that video does not work on Windows 10, so that's why I'm creating this separate video. So on this computer I've got a clean installation of Windows 10. This method will only work if you're using the legacy boot method where you'll see the standard Windows 10 boot logo. So if you're booting Windows 10 on the legacy boots, this method will work. If you're unsure whether you're actually running the Windows 10 legacy boots or the UEFI boot method, then you'll need to run msinfo32. You can do that by pressing the Windows logo key and R and type in msinfo32. So about halfway down in this list you'll notice the BIOS modes and so long as that says legacy, this method will work. So if we head out of the system info uh, window and you'll need to head over to the start menu, go straight to the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk C, windows, boot, resources and you'll see a file called bootres.dll. Now on a legacy boot system, this is the file that is responsible for holding the boot logos on your particular Windows 10 installation. Currently this file is not owned by us, as in the user, it's owned by the system. And that means that we can't make changes to it. So to actually make changes to it, we need to click on the start menu, go to the search web and windows and type in command prompt. On command prompt it's important that you right click on it and click on run as administrator and hit yes at the UAC control prompt. Now there's two commands that we need to run here. I'm going to copy them both into the description below but to begin with we need to just make sure that we are running command prompt as administrator. You'll see that if it says administrator and command prompt there. So we're going to type in the following command. So once you've typed that in, we're going to hit enter and you should get a success. The file or folder is now owned by us, which is the user here. So at this point, you'll need to type in the second command. So the second command is icacls followed by the full path of the bootrest.dll file forward slash grant and in between percentage symbols, we want username colon f. And what this command does is it essentially gives us full access to that particular bootres file. So at that point we're going to hit enter and you should get a successfully processed one files. So now we have direct access to the bootres file we can actually type in exit which will exit the uh, command prompt and we're going to create a folder on our desktop if we right click and create a new folder here. We're going to call it boot logo and this is just a temporary working space for us to create our custom bootres file. So once you've created that boot logo folder, inside of it you'll need to create another folder called backup. And you'll need to head over back to the resources uh, folder here and copy the bootres.dll file to both this folder, which is the boot logo directory, and also backup. The backup will just be used uh, so that we can restore it if something goes wrong. And this particular bootres file here is the one that we're going to edit. So next we're going to need a couple of tools that will allow us to edit this DLL file. So the first tool itself is GIMP. You can also use Photoshop or any other image manipulation tool which will allow us to create our image. Just go ahead and click on download here. I've got the installer going here so I'm just going to install GIMP. So the next tool itself is 7-zip. You can get this from 7-zip.org and you'll need to select the correct version for your copy of Windows. If you're running a 32-bit copy of Windows, click the first link here. Obviously, if you're running a 64-bit version, then click the second link. The next tool you'll need is a program called Signer. So the link is a little bit longer for this, so it is listed in the description below. Again, you'll need to make sure that you download the correct version for your operating system. Since we're running the 64-bit version, we're going to right-click on the signer file and click Save Link As. 
and we're going to save that in the desktop under boot logo which is where we saved our bootres.dll file and we're going to save that just there and the last tool we'll need is a program called Restorator. Now this program isn't freeware, but you can download a trial version which will work just fine for what we're doing here. So we're going to click on Download on the left hand side. So I'm going to download the 30 day trial version, and I'm going to, under the English version, I'm going to download from USA. So I'm going to install this application here. We're going to untick the View Readme, and finish. So now we've got all the applications installed, we're going to open Restorator, which is actually on our desktop now. We're going to hit the OK button. And we're going to click on No, so that we don't associate any files. From here we're going to click on File Open. And we're going to browse to our desktop directory, where we created the boot logo folder. And we're going to open the bootres.dll file. So go ahead and open the bootres file. In the resource viewer, if we double click on the RC data folder, you'll see a file called one. What you'll need to do here is right click on that one file, go down to extract, extract as, and extract as. So again, go into the boot logo folder that we created on the desktop, and we're going to call it RC data underscore one dot win. You'll need to make sure that under the save as type, we select all files and you can now see that we've got in our boot logo folder on the desktop we've got our rcdata1.wim file that we created just to make sure that it is a wim file if it doesn't say wim file then you've extracted it incorrectly from restorator so we're going to right click on rcdata go to 7zip and we're going to extract to rcdata underscore one here you'll see all the default windows 10 boot logos that your system is using. If we right click on one of them, we'll go for WinLogo 5, go to Properties, we can actually see that in Details we've got a 321 by 284 image for the fifth logo and it is also a bitmap file which is a BMP file. Therefore we're going to need to make sure that our image has the same properties as the default boot logo. So if you minimize this folder here, we're going to go to GIMP and we're going to need to resize this to the same image dimensions as the standard boot logos in Windows 10. We're going to start with the WinLogo 5 and we can see that we've got a 321 by 284 image that we need to create. So in GIMP we're going to change the dimensions of the image by going to image and scale image and we're going to type in for the width 321 now because we were aiming for a 284 value in height, this means that this particular image may clip very slightly because it's 288 in height. But we're going to continue anyway and scale our image up. So once I've resized this image, I'm going to go to File, Export As. I'm going to put it in my boot logo folder on the desktop. I'm going to select the file type, which is going to be Windows BMP image. And I'm going to name it WinLogo5. I'm going to now export it and I'm going to click on export. You'll now see that we have a WinLogo5 image inside our bootlogo folder. So the next thing you've got to do is essentially go back to the RC Data 1 folder, go to WinLogo4, which will be slightly smaller, and resize this image to be these dimensions. So I'll do that quickly again here. Image, scale image which is 242 and we're going to let the height continue to be 217 we're going to scale it file export as we're going to change it to winlogo4.bmp export that image and continue to do the same thing for winlogo3n 321 until you've got all six images in your bootlogo folder so as you can see I've put my images into this boot logo folder and at this point you're going to need to go to the rcdata underscore one dot wim file we're going to go to 7zip we're going to open the archive at this point we're going to reinsert the boot logos into this particular rcdata underscore one dot wim file so I'm going to select my images 
and I'm going to simply drag them into 7-zip. You're going to get a do you want to copy files, which we do, and it's now copied all of our images into this WIM file. Once we're done here, we're going to close 7-zip, we're going to head over back to Restorator, we're going to right click on one, we're going to assign, assign two, and on our desktop directory we're going to go to boot logo, we're going to change the all resource files option to all files, and we're going to select the RC data underscore one dot WIM file. Head over to the file option and click on save. And at this point we're going to exit out of Restorator. We've actually got our bootres.dll file here, which is the one that we just created using our custom logos. So what we're going to do in the boot logo folder is we're going to go to File. We're going to hover over Open Command Prompt and we're going to click on Open Command Prompt as Administrator. And we're going to click on Yes. So at this point you'll need to type in the following commands. And if you've downloaded the 32-bit version of Signer, then it's just going to be signer.exe forward slash sign sign bootres.dll. Because I've downloaded the 64-bit version, I've typed in signer64. And here we're going to hit enter. We're going to get a security warning when we're going to click on yes to install the certificate. And you should get a signed bootres.dll message. So at this point we're all done. We just need to copy the bootres.dll file back to the original location. So we're going to right click on bootres.dll and copy it. Go to this PC, Drive C, Windows, Boot, Resources, and we're going to overwrite the bootres.dll file. So now we've actually replaced that. We can now go ahead and reboot our computer to see the new boot logo. So if you do see that your boot logo has completely disappeared and you've just got the spinning circle, go to command prompt and run as administrator and you're going to need to type in bcd edit dash set test signing on. So you should get a message saying that it completed successfully and we can go ahead and reboot the machine. So as you can see we have successfully changed the Windows 10 boot logo. Please head over to our forum at benstechtips.com if you have any trouble. Or post a comment in the YouTube comments below.